Y'all, this is your boy Neil Abitella back with another live video. Getting ready for work. I'm not gonna make this video too long. Just had a crazy out of body experience. I'm gonna call this video the Rapture. All right. Um, I remember being in this school like setting, and we had to take notes. And I remember a lot of people from my arts, um, my high school days. They were in there. Definitely my boy, shout out to my boy Mark. He was in the vision. And he was, you know, being Mark, like how Mark used to be in high school and all that. Like, he'd just be playing around and shit. And I remember he was asking me about Jesus Christ, but I know he was trying to make fun of Jesus Christ in that vision. And I was like, ah, 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 ah. You're not going there with that. He already meant, he already knew not to take it there. But, you know, I remember I was drawing on a piece of paper and I remember this paper getting soaked up with different stuff that was happening around the classroom like oil was just spilling on the paper and all that but there was some other part of the vision I remember after leaving the classroom I went my own way and I'm walking down the street and I'm coming to a house and I remember seeing Jada Pickett Smith yes I seen Jada in my vision. Now she is wearing a blue dress, like a summer's dress, and she had a curves. Her body was ridiculous, man. And I was like, "That's that's you, Jada." And then she's like, "Yeah." And you know, we was talking for a bit in the vision, and she was trying to make me sleep around with her. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I would have did some shit in the realms, but. I caught myself. I was like, nah, I'm not I'm not trying to do anything. I got things to do. And then she's like, okay, when, whenever you ready, we could do something. Right? She gave me that look. And I noticed in her eye, her left eye. Right? Right here. This is my right eye, but this is the left side for you guys. I seen a strange glare that looked demonic. That was in her left eye. When she was talking and flirting with me. And that's what triggered me to say nah I'm good. And I definitely felt a strong demonic presence from her. But it was so seductive you couldn't, you couldn't resist her. And I was thinking in the back of my head. I'm like yo. Maybe this is what August was going through. When he was dealing with this chick. Because she's no play around type of chick. Now I was wondering in my head after I got up. Why did she show up? And I'm going to explain that to y'all guys later. But here's the, here's the other stuff I want to explain to you. That's very important. So she was going in a cab and she was going somewhere else. And I was going my own way because I said I had stuff to do. And she gives me a bag full of different things inside. Right? And as she goes to the cash, she said, oh, yeah, I forgot this stuff, too. Take this with you. She gave me black sunglasses, which is very, very important, right? She gives me black sunglasses. So I gave her, I said, I waved to her while she drove off in the cab, and I flew back to the school, right? So as I'm flying back to the school to go back and meet up with my friends and them, I've noticed I was able to see through the window of the classroom. And I saw there was a firestorm, like a fire tornado coming down, and the clouds was this pitch black red. And it looked like lava. The whole city was on fire. And this red tornado, fire tornadoes coming towards the window, and everybody gets caught up in it. I get caught up in it. Next thing you know, everybody gets killed in the city. And then these bodies started lifting up in the air. Like we, we were spirits because we lost our bodies. So when we started getting raptured up, certain people got away. And then there was these cops. I guess they were, we considered the angels, which you were talking about in Revelation. They talk about the end of the world is the harvest and the reapers are the angels. Well, the angels were these cops and they were trying to gather these souls certain souls from rising up so i tried to escape but i i willingly stayed back 
and they caught me because I was like, man, I can't escape these dudes. If they're going to catch you, they're going to catch you, right? So I stopped, and they checked me, and they were able to scan this, this, this barcode on me. And I was like, what is that? What is that? He's like, yeah, he's, a, he's one of the good guys, but we're going to take him back anyway. And I was like, what, if I'm the good guy, why, why are y'all taking me? He's like, listen, we're going to take you. If it's up to us, we'll let you go. But there's orders. We got to let you yeah, bring you back. Right? So I come back. And the next part of this place is like we're in this facility base. Right? And in this facility base, they give us a bunch of blue shirts. And I say, what's up with these blue shirts and all this stuff? He said, now y'all work for us. Right? And um, I said, yeah, y'all wanted the Crips now. Pay attention to that word. Crips. And I said, Crips? I'm like, well, since when? He's like, yeah, they work for us now. Right? And if we had it all the way, we, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't allow it if it was any other way. But this is orders. Right? So now we had to go out and do the work of these in the bidding of these devils. I'm guessing that the angels were freely fallen angels and they were disguised as cops. And whoever didn't get raptured up or got caught in it, they had to be enslaved and work a part of the Antichrist system. Now, I say this to say this because I remember in the vision, people will say, oh, God, God didn't come and get us. He let us get caught and all this stuff. I said, God is good. I said, regardless of what, I'm going to still rock with God even if he didn't come and get me back. I feel that he has a purpose for me to... I felt and I told him in the dream, I said, I have a reason. And I think there is a reason behind this. And then I woke up. I said, I'm going to still serve God. I'm going to still do what he asked me to do. Right? Now, how does this apply to what's going on right now? Now I'm explaining the vision. I think Jada was a symbol. You know what I'm saying? Because I know people like to take it out of contents. She represents the celebrities in this society. Think about all the celebrity gossip. Think about all the celebrity drama has been going on since COVID-19. A lot of people coming in and out of their marriages. A lot of people are having a lot of issues with their marriages. I think the sunglasses and the in the bag represented the distractions of the world. The sunglasses is the skills of Satan. Remember, it says the God of this world, who's Satan, blinds the minds of the unbelievers. How does he blind the minds of the unbelievers? He said, Jesus Christ said, they hear, but they do not hear. They see, but they do not see. How could they not see? The sunglasses, the scales of Satan, the scales of Leviathan. These sunglasses were black. So because you focus on the things of this world, you have celebrities who are influenced by demonic influence. Remember I told you I saw her in a vision and her eye and her left eye was demonic. It was a demonic glare. Meaning that these, these people and celebrities who are in, who are in um, the celebrity, they are all part of this agenda. I'm just keeping it real with you now. You may have a few of them that want to rebel against the system, but at the end of the day, when you go into Hollywood and you be a part of their system, you are influenced by higher principalities. I think I've done a video about that. I will do a video about that. Two, being in a classroom, always in the school represents something you need to learn. Right? So the people in the classroom is people who you're associated with or was associated with. You know, I said a lot of people in my high school was in the vision. Also, you could see family members. They could be in the school like Santa too. But it's something you need to learn from these individuals or either or. they something that they need to learn from you. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, another thing. The rapture was fire. It was a fire tornado that sweep down into the city and destroyed the entire city. That represented the rapture because everybody got killed. You saw when you was looking back down as you being raptured up, you were seeing the whole city being destroyed. You seen all these souls coming up. And how you know they were souls, they were looking transparent in color. They looked like ghosts. They was flying around like ghosts. So that meant that they were being raptured up. That 
that fire when it touched you, you would transform. When he say you'd be transformed in the twinkling of an eye, it's transformed. Now the bag that Jada gave me in the vision represent the devices of Satan. If you guys do not turn your life completely to Christ, you will be instead of you rapturing up, you guys want to rapture up so far. Especially you Christians. I'm not talking about unbelievers. I'm talking about people who say they live for God. But they still live in the world. You want to be rapture up all the way. Because some people were getting caught by these principalities that disguise as cops. And then you had to work for them. I felt like God allowed me to get caught on purpose to tell you guys who are watching this video. This is the time to repent. This is the time to get right with God. And if you have any type of items in your home that God tells you to get rid of. Get rid of that because he says, do not be ignorant of Satan's devices. If you have anything that belongs to Satan, this world that God tells you to get rid of and you don't get rid of it, that's what's giving demons legal access to hold your soul back from being raptured up. Because a lot of people in the church, they like to say, oh, we, we want to wait back till God comes back to rapture up his church. And you may not be that lucky saint. To be raptured up because you didn't do what the most high order you to do. You wasn't in the will. You were still in the world. <laughs> I felt like Jada represented that Jezebel spirit. And I've talked about this on a lot of my videos. The way how she treated Will Smith. The way how she carried herself. She represents the, the spirit in Hollywood. You feel what I'm saying? That is okay with demasculating men. That's okay with um, messing with younger guys. This sexual predator spirit. Because think about it. A lot of these dudes and celebrities, if you think about Trump was cleaning up house, was called out for a lot of that sex trafficking, that, that child trafficking, that pedophilia stuff. God is cleaning up house. You got to take this message seriously. And... He's exposing a lot of different things. Now, it's not no coincidence he showed up in the vision, right? I even thought about it, too, because I said I did videos about her before. Maybe she came across my video and happened to appear in the vision through astral projection. Who knows? But the simple fact that she showed up, this was a very powerful vision. And her giving me items and gifts is you're taking on the loads of the world. You're taking on the things of this world. And because you choose to sell out for the world, you cannot get raptured up. Because God does not want that in his kingdom. I'm giving you guys this warning to stop focusing on social media. Stop focusing on all these different things and celebrity gossip and celebrity beasts and marriages. And focus on your own if you're married. Focus on your kids if you have kids. Focus on yourselves and getting right with the Most High God. With that being said, leave your comments in the comment section below. Catch you, brothers and sisters, in the next video. Peace.